Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video, I'm Get Good Guy, and today we're looking at the Burton LMR Optical. This continues my coverage of the new weapons and variants recently added to BF1. I'll link to the other videos I've done covering the patch in the description and my pinned comment. But before anyone asks me, as I'm sure somebody would have done, no I don't think the Burton LMR has broken the game, yes Level Cap has said that he thinks it has, and this has become a bit of a BF1 meme really, um, and yes I did state my disagreement in the comment section of that video. But I'm not here to bash Level Cap. He has his opinion and that's fair enough, I'm just going to state my own also. With that in mind, we'll cover the incendiary rounds first to get it out of the way. So yes, they're very powerful against planes and other unarmoured vehicles, just like the trench variant. Could the damage be toned down a little to achieve better balance? Yes, probably. But I don't think this currently constitutes being game breaking. To use Level Cap's own example, half a team using the Burton will render the enemy air support pretty useless. And again, yes, this could be toned down a bit for better balance, but overall, this is just what's known as a hard counter, and a hard counter has its own hard counter, in this case, medics and scouts. Half a team of Burtons will dominate the skies, and to a certain extent, close quarters, but it'll get wrecked in the open, thus making up poor team composition. Now I've spent way too much time on that, so let's get to the other stuff. What I'll be doing is directly comparing the optical to the trench, rather than any other LMGs on the whole. This is because I covered the main aspects of the Burton in my look at the trench very variant, which will be linked in the description and my pinned comment if you need to catch up. So a lot of the stats and capabilities are the same for both variants in all honesty. The differences start when we come to recoil. Although the optical does have the same vertical recoil as the trench, it does have somewhat better horizontal recoil. The trench having a horizontal recoil value of 0.27 compared to the optical's 0.238. This is enough of a gap to make a difference here and there. But where the optical excels over the trench in a more meaningful way is in terms of aim down sight spread. The trench having a standing ADS value of 0.24 compared to the optical's 0.18 and a moving ADS spread value of 0.56 compared to the optical's 0.42. You can then combine this advantage with the optical also having better spread increase per shot and better spread decrease. So it's better for both continued fire and also burst fire, with burst firing being a good tactic at range as you can actually drop people with it from time to time. Now as you'd expect, the optical has worse hip fire spread than the trench, but I'll say that it still seems very effective within normal hip fire range. It's only at those extreme hip fire ranges that the trench is capable of that the optical just can't compete at. Although that really is a huge strength for the Burton trench, the hip fire is crazy good for longer ranges on that variant. But back to the optical, and I'll also add that I didn't notice having any issues with firing before going into ADS. The ability to do this was nerfed massively on LMGs during the TTK 2.0 patch I believe. I was trying it out on the M1917 MG just before this footage and it was absolutely dying. You literally could not fire before going into ADS or you'd miss almost all of your bullets. But with the Burton, it just felt like a pre-patch LMG. So that's great for aggressive play and pre-firing corners. And then obviously the optical also has a bayonet just like the trench, which makes it different from other LMGs in the support class. So you probably want to know which is better. Well, I just can't tell you because I think they're both fantastic with reasonably minimal differences and the same overall drawbacks. The optical will likely play out better for you in larger game modes and in more wide open areas, and the trench is likely better for smaller game modes and more close quarters areas. Whilst at the same time, I think they can both excel in the other area that I've mentioned regardless. The Burton is just really strong for the right player. It's a slaying LMG which can also provide anti-air support, and to balance out these strengths, you have a small magazine size of 20 rounds and a lack of a bipod. So which do you prefer, the trench or the optical? Do you have both of them, or are you yet to try either of them? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's go over to the board of awesome for the epic people who allow you to get content from me full time by supporting the channel on Patreon. They're the main reason you're watching this video right now, so thanks to everyone on here. If you want to join them on the board of awesome, the link to the Patreon page is in the description and in my pinned comment. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you don't want to miss future videos, including the upcoming coverage of the other weapons and variants from the patch, turn on notifications with the bell button and select to always be notified with the options tab that should then pop up, and then feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time, laters.